firewalls stop threats at the perimeter. The term firewall was first used in construction, referring to a brick wall designed to stop fire from spreading in a building. In computer networking, a firewall works similarly. It stops external threats from entering a network. Firewalls can be physical hardware, software, software as a service, or even virtual private clouds, and, considered an essential component of network security, are used in both personal and enterprise settings. Here, we'll cover the basics of firewalls and how they work. To explore network security in more depth, visit our dedicated site at the link above or in the description below. Also, remember to like and subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. A firewall is placed somewhere along a network connection, most commonly between an internal and external network, like the internet. As external data tries to enter an internal network, the firewall inspects its packet information, including its source and destination address. It compares it against a set of pre-configured rules to determine if it's benign or malicious traffic. If the data abides by the rule set, it can pass through the firewall and enter the internal network. If it doesn't, the data packet is blocked from entering. Some common applications of firewalls include controlling access, like a school network blocking social media sites for students, or an enterprise network blocking objectionable websites that aren't suitable for work. Threat defense, blocking malware attacks or hacking attempts from the outside. Logging and auditing, keeping a record of network events that administrators can use to improve rules and secure remote access, granting secure remote access to a network through a VPN, for instance. Firewalls aren't just used for blocking outside traffic. They can also be used to isolate a demilitarized zone to allow client communication without letting them into the internal network or within an internal network to separate sensitive data. And there are different firewalls for different jobs. The most basic type of firewall is a packet filtering firewall, as previously described. They only look at the packet information and don't consider the context. Other types of firewalls in increasing levels of context include stateful inspection firewalls, circuit level gateway firewalls, proxy firewalls, next generation firewalls, threat focused next generation firewalls, virtual firewalls, and cloud native firewalls. Firewalls are usually paired with other security components, like intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention systems, because firewalls are still vulnerable to high-level attacks. For example, packet filtering firewalls don't use deep packet inspection, so they can't see the contents of the packet, just the packet header information, and might let in unwanted traffic. While firewalls are generally used to prevent cyber attacks, they can also be used unethically. For instance, consider the Great Firewall of China, the Chinese government uses this firewall to restrict access to politically or socially sensitive content, monitor online activity, and collect personal information which can impede individual freedoms. Some companies have also come under scrutiny for using firewalls to restrict employee access to legitimate websites or to keep tabs on their online activities. As the networking and cybersecurity landscape becomes increasingly complex, Experts warn that firewalls may become less effective, and some even predict a departure from the client-server model altogether. What are your thoughts on the future of firewalls? Will they face obscurity anytime soon? Share your thoughts in the comments, and remember to like and subscribe too.